Hello everybody, today in front of me I have this Realme GT Neo 3 smartphone and in today's video we would like to show you the best display settings to change on this device. So first of all, let's go ahead and go to the settings app. Display and brightness category to be precise. So the first cool setting that I would highly recommend that you try changing is called the screen color mode and in here you are basically allow allowed to regulate how the colors on your of your interface will look like exactly at the top of the page you have very convenient uh, preview pictures with all kinds of colors so you can uh, understand exactly what uh, colors have you gone for so we have the vivid preset natural preset and pro mode which allows you to well switch between the cinematic and brilliant modes respectively as you can see and as a bonus, uh, you do also have this bar that is designed for regulating the screen color temperature. So you can go from cooler to all the way up to warmer, just like so. Already, next setting that we were to show you in this video is called, uh, called eye comfort mode. Basically, it just reduces the eye fatigue, makes your uh, eyes less tired from working. Uh, with your phone from using your phone for well long periods of times by filtering out the excess amounts of blue light therefore making the uh, color palette of your interface significantly warmer so let me turn it on and show it as you can see everything becomes yellowish kind of which stands for <laughs> warmer basically uh, here you can also regulate the warmness level the screen color temperature with this convenient bar or even set up some schedule, some time frames for this mode to be automatically enabled and automatically disabled respectively. There are also uh, well, some display effects, two options to choose from, either colors, which uh, will be warmer in the eye comfort mode, as I've mentioned, or a black and white mode, which will further reduce the intensity of bright colors and pretty much make everything look black and whitish or like turn uh, everything into like gray tones I would say so the black and white option is very convenient for the times uh, when you use your smartphone as the well book and you read a lot so that is pretty much it as for the eye comfort mode the next setting is called bright HDR video mode as you can see as it is stated right here it increases the screen brightness when playing HDR videos uh, and basically just makes the quality of videos that you will look better and uh, more evenly bright I would say this just simple toggle just turn it on and that will mean that the, this effect has been activated but uh, please note the fact that once the once you go for the bright HDR video mode uh, your system consumes a little more battery and your phone can sometimes heat up a little more than usual the next setting is called screen refresh rate. As you can see, we have three values to choose from, high standard or like the auto mode, auto select. So once uh, at the standard refresh rate of 60 Hertz, you get the longer battery life. Uh, if, you, if you go for the higher screen refresh mode, as it is in my case, it gets you smoother and like uh, better animations, better visual experience. Everything just goes significantly uh, smoother. But at the same time, you will drain, the system will drain the battery faster as well or you can uh, always go for an auto select value which will automatically switch between these two uh, values of 60 hertz and 120 hertz in accordance with the current system state the current state of your battery health so the final option that we were to show you in this video is located not at the display and brightness category actually but at the personalizations and called uh, always on display so basically once activated it will show it will show the set of some very crucial information like time date maybe the late uh, the last uh, notifications that you have received even once your screen is completely blacked out is completely locked or turned off so let me just show it to you real quick here uh, there are display options that you can uh, regulate and configure so power saving which will show the AOD only like a few seconds after you block your phone after you lock it so, uh, you can set uh, some schedule for it to be shown between the certain time frames or just make it permanent which I'll choose right now here you are able to choose what uh, information will be shown exactly so time date battery notifications I'll uh, go with everything just to show you personalized patterns themes um, appearances of your AOD so here you can play with them if you would like and some system provided like the digital clock uh, 
design appearance. Let me go with this one, for example, the pixel one, analog clock variants, real mouth, like some cute cats or something, and a standard set of images. So let me demonstrate how the always on display feature look. As you can see, just like so, and basically uh, it will always show this data that we have um, chosen to be have set for it to show uh, as long as your uh, phone is blocked, obviously, or should I say locked. And it will always show it just because we have set it uh, at the display option section, just like so already. So that was pretty much it, not only for the always on display, but for this video in general. So thank you so much for watching and bye bye.